We're out here with the Silverado today because this roller lock bed cover is coming off and we've got something brand new going on. is officially off the bed of the Silverado. Now it's time to get to work on that Paragon bed cover. The first thing that we're actually gonna be doing is assembling the tracks off the truck. There's an instruction manual with the kit, obviously, and Paragon has some really good videos on their website. So I'm not gonna go through every detailed step of this. I'm actually going to time-lapse this process and show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. We have the brackets and rail system mostly installed. Everything's not fully tightened down yet, but it's not supposed to be at this time. We're just gonna come over here and work on getting the cover part, the panels ready to go in the rails. And then we'll be putting that in and snugging everything down, getting everything buttoned up. And we'll have a new bed cover on the truck. I just put the bed cover on yesterday and it's already covered in pollen. Well, it looks like you'll get to see a yellow bed cover as we talk about Paragon's functionality. As you can see, the Paragon bed cover is set up in panels because it does kind of like an accordion fold to open up the bed. This right here is the lock for the cover. This one has the dual deadbolt. So there's one that locks on this side and one that locks on that side from the same key slot here. So right now it's locked. And then we'll turn it there to unlock the deadbolt. Then to open the bed cover, you just want to push down right here. There are air shocks under the cover that hold it up and keep everything nice and flat. So you gotta decompress those. like so. And then from there, you're just going to slide the bed cover up in and let it fold. I currently have the strap tied over there in a cargo hook so that it's easy to get to to pull the bed cover back. But I'm gonna be working on doing something else or loosening the tie a little bit because it's obviously not letting this fold all the way back with how little slack I gave it when I was tying it. One feature of this bed cover that I really like, and it's one of the reasons why I actually wanted to give it a try, is the ability to completely take the cover part out of the bed. I'm just gonna pass this down through here, and I'm going to use this to keep the cover nice and tight. And on the passenger side, in the back, see that little silver piece back there? That is a quick release. Before you do the quick release, you just gotta unhook these shocks. There's just a little opening of the tab. You want it to be sticking out and then just pull it off like that. 
once you get those shocks released, you just got to push the quick release. And you got to push it far enough in to release the bearing. And once you do that, you're just going to pull the passenger side out enough along the track. until you can release the pin on the driver's side. And then once you get out, you have the full bed space to use for whatever you need to haul. And we're ready to put back in. You wanna slot the driver's side in the track first, and then you'll work the passenger side in and then just push it back until you get the driver's side clip to go in. And then you can push in the passenger side. When the clip's in, bed cover's back in place. The only thing left is to reattach the air shocks. Then you just pull it close to the rope. You'll notice when you get to the back section, the air shocks will actually push it up into place. So everything stays the way it needs to be. There is an additional item I haven't put on yet. It's the tailgate seal. It comes with rubber gasket seal that you can run along the sides of the tailgate and even along the bottom and up the other side, and that will help water keep from getting in from around the sides of the tailgate and being slung up from underneath the truck. I do have it, it came with this bed cover, I just haven't got it installed yet. I just wanna go ahead and get this video set up for you and show you the major functionality so you can make a decision on if you think Paragon is a good option for your truck. If you are interested in a Paragon bed cover for your truck, check out the link in the description below and use code SOUTHPAW15 to get 15% off your order of a Platinum or Limited HD series bed cover from Paragon. But before you click that link, you might wanna hear my five initial thoughts of this bed cover after getting it installed on this 2019 Chevy Silverado. Number one, I like the style of this bed cover. I like the way it looks on the truck. I think it's an improvement over the roll and lock style. So bonus point to Paragon. Number two is the ease of installation. This is an extremely easy install to do by yourself. If you have an extra set of hands, great. Extra set of hands is always helpful. But if you don't, it's definitely something you can do on your own. Number three, is that it does take up less space in the front of the bed of the truck when the cover is open. It's not necessarily significant or drastic when compared to the roll and lock case that it rolls into, but any bit of space that you can use in the bed instead of having it taken up is definitely a bonus point. Number four is the quick release function. Being able to completely remove the bed cover if you need your full bed space is definitely gonna be a bonus point. If you're just trying to haul something from one place to another and get as much stuff in your bed as you can, you don't need it covered or protected during that time, then take the bed cover out and then when you're done, put it back in. It's that simple. And number five is going to be the 100 day satisfaction guarantee. If you don't like the bed cover, it's not working for you, just contact Paragon, send it back for a full refund within 100 days. And with that being said, in about 100 days, I'm gonna be doing my full review of this Paragon bed cover. So make sure you're subscribed or you stay tuned because in approximately 100 days, a new video is gonna go up and you're gonna find out just how well Paragon stacks up to the competition. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful if you're looking to put one of these on your truck. For now, this is South Park Garage, signing out.